What's up guys? This is a daily twin flame reading. And I say daily loosely because I haven't done videos in a few days only because I'm completing, I'm creating something right now that was supposed to drop yesterday, but it'll be dropping today. But I just wanted to update you on a divine masculine because I just felt led to do divine feminine, divine masculine readings today. And this one is focused on the divine masculine. The overall energy of the reading, divine masculine, before I begin, this is a general reading. If you would like a private reading, click the link in my description. If you resonate with this, cool. If you don't, cool. But know that this is general. Take it as it resonates. So this is an update on the divine masculine, the overall energy. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Coupled with the nine of swords and the knight of fire. Spirit is calling for the divine masculine to take action. Take whatever action to get you out of this funk. Look at her. Her leg is one step out of this painting because she's about to do something different. Spirit is calling for the, the divine masculine to do something different because the divine masculine is not happy with this current situation. But you can get out of it. It's not permanent. This is, again, like, you have the power to change it for the better, Divine Masculine. Yeah, you're not happy. Um, only because that's what's supposed to happen right now to get you moving towards what you're supposed to be doing. To get you to take the, the necessary actions to change your life, to align you with your Divine Partner and with your Divine pur Purpose. Then we have the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected Couple with the six of fire. This is about being the divine masculine recognizing the connection that he has with the divine feminine. So it's like, it's almost like a aha moment. Like, man, she was the one or he was the one. It was like, wow. And, you know, the six of fire just adds that it's a soul honoring connection. You know, and it's just like the divine masculine is like, wow. Like, it really was him or, wow, it really was her. And it hurts. It hurts the Divine Masculine because now he knows, like, this is the person that I was created to be with or this is my Divine Partner. And I didn't treat the situation in the way that I feel like with care or I didn't treat it, the situation. Had I known this is my Divine Partner, maybe I would have done it differently. But it's just an emotional recognition of the connection that, he or she has with the Divine Feminine. Then you have the Queen of Water with the Greek mythology. Humans were originally created with four arms and four legs, a head and two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other heads. This is coupled with the Queen of Cups. This is the divine masculine awakening to the process of the twin flame journey. This attuning to his or her divine feminine energy like, wow. Again, this is the same thing as before. It's like, this is my other half. This woman or this man is my other, other half. And it's a highly emotional recognition. The divine masculine is emotional right now. Maybe um, some things are going on in his life that's led him to this. Again, with the your life does not get better by ch chance, it gets better by change. And spirit is calling for him or her to take action. But anyway, his emotions or her emotions is a part of that process pushing him to take action. Have you guys heard that poem? It says, come to the edge, he said, um, but they were afraid. And they said, we're afraid. And he said, come to the edge, he said. And they said, but it's too high. And then it says, come to the edge, he said. And they came. He pushed them and they flew. It's time for you to fly, Divine Masculine. It is time for the Divine Masculine to fly. This emotion, this recognition, this clarity, this aha moment, the opposite, whatever is happening, the challenge is happening in his or her life right now, is that push you need to fly. It's that push you need to reconnect with your divine feminine. It's, so if, they, if you're a divine feminine watching this about your masculine, he's going through things right now, but it's necessary for him to go through those things or her to go through those things in order to push you two together. But also know that he or she has recognized who you are to them. 
and recognize this journey and this partnership and it's making them highly emotional. It's like, wow, he or she was right. Oh, wow, this is my partner. Um, then you have never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. You have king of air and you have the fool. Oh, I love these cards. I hope these aren't too sexually explicit, but if you're offended, that's not my problem. King of air, the fool. He's feeling, or she, he or she is feeling regretful. Again, divine masculine is an energy. It's not a gender. So I'm sorry if I keep saying he, but it's not intentional. I'm a woman, so. And I relate to feminine energies and masculine. At this point, I'm trying to tune to my masculine. So sometimes I just say he. But again, it could be either gender and gender. Anyway, the masculine feels like a fool. Um, he's feeling regretful. Uh, but the king of air is he's recognizing that he, he, he or she messed up. It's like, dang, man, I made a permanent decision based on what was happening in the moment and I shouldn't have. Or I regret that decision that I made or I regret the actions that I took against or, you know, as it pertains to my life in the divine feminine. And um, he or she is reevaluating those actions that affected the partnership, that affected his or her life. And it's making him feel like or her feel like a fool, like a dummy. Look at this. I just recognize. Look at that. It's a dummy. It's like he feel like he feels like a dummy. But you know, masculine. If you're watching this, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I want to say shit happens. I don't want to curse too much on these videos on YouTube, but shit happens. Like. Who doesn't make mistakes? Everybody makes mistakes. And, that's, and the feminine, the person that you're referring to, if he or she is definitely your divine partner, they will understand. He or she will understand. Like, you know, they will get you. That is your, that is literally your other half. That person will get you. So don't beat yourself up about the mistakes you made. You didn't know, but now you know. So now the actions that you can take will be for better. Now the actions you can take will be to bring you two together, you'll come with a knowing, like, this is the person that I should be with. Yep. Ooh, and I love that the right, never give up on something you really want. It was right under there. You got this, Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine, whoever, if you're the feminine watching this, your masculine got this. It's no worry. There's no doubt in my mind. Now that he or she knows who you are to them, things will get better. Things will improve, especially if they take the necessary action to change it, you know, the connection for the better. Then you have, life is a great big camp, canvas. No, I'm sorry, throw all the paint you can on it. And you have the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cups. How beautiful is that? Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Spirit is saying life is not over. You have the brush in your hand. You have the paint in your hand. You can change it and make it more beautiful. Like they keep saying the same thing to you. The same thing. You have the power, masculine, to change this for the better. You have the power to change it to an outcome that brings fulfillment, happiness, completion, beauty, balance, togetherness, connection, so honoring, equal give and take, love, light. You have the paint. You literally can paint the picture that you desire. Life is not over. You fucked up. It's not the end of the world. You can do this. Feminine, he can do this. Have faith in your masculine. You, energy, you have the power to put the po um, positive energy and light out there as well, feminine. So if you know that your masculine is going through an aha moment, recognizing that he or she messed up, then feminine, put that positive energy out there. Say it to yourself, put it in the spirit room, spiritually, try to telepathic, telepath, uh, telepathically, whatever. However you can connect with him or her and just let them know that it is okay. Like, I love you regardless. You're my divine partner. Just put that energy out there in the universe. Ha think positive vibes, put positive energy out there. You know that he's going through a transitional moment knowing that he or she messed up. 
that they, you know, they recognize you, who you are to them in their life now. They feel like a fool, like they're messed up. But the paint ain't dry. The paint is not dry. You can change the picture masculine. You can change the picture feminine. And you can make it beautiful because that is so beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. I love it. Anyway, I love this reading. Um, sometimes we go through things in life to push us to the pe people where you created to be. Come to the edge, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew. So it's time to fly. All right. Um, I wish you guys love, light, and more life. If you want a private reading, click the link in my description. Thanks for watching. Peace. This what God feel like. I've manifested full payment of all 106,000 of my student loans. I only pay like $60 out of $106,000. I've manifested $30,000 twice. I've manifested connection to my divine partner. I've manifested the activation of my third eye and spiritual gifts. I've manifested the concept of all four of my books way before they created. So many things I manifested and now I'm manifesting you. I'd like to teach you the manifestation process. I know the what behind manifestation, what's required, the process. I know how it's done. I know why it's done. I also know things that can hinder your manifestation process and I'd like to teach you. So click the link below today and start manifesting the desires of your heart tomorrow. Peace.